cause the salt to attract to the balloon. Well, if you want to know more about attraction and repulsion, then stay tuned because in today's video, we're going to talk about static electricity. Of videos on electricity. In this series, we're going to talk about static electricity, simple circuits, parallel circuits, conductors and insulators, and how do we get electricity? Where does it come from? And who invented electricity? So if you're interested in this topic, then look forward to the next few videos after this one in the series. So today's video, you're going to need some materials so you can explore static electricity at home. You will need salt, balloons, foil, you will need a paper clip, some type of cardboard or cardstock will work, you will also need a ruler and string and goggles. So what is static electricity? Have you ever taken clothes out of the dryer and when you pull them out, they begin to crackle? Or have you walked across carpet and then touched someone and you zap them? Well, that's static electricity. Static electricity are charged atoms. An atom is made up of positive charges, negative charges, and neutral charges. And all matter is made up of atoms. So when you have a positive charge and another positive charge together, well, they repel. Repel means to pull apart. But if you have a negative and a positive charged item together, then they attract and come together. So with static electricity, when you charge something, like I charge the balloon, and how do you charge something? By rubbing it against something else. Like when you rub your feet against that carpet, well guess what? That force of friction, you have charged yourself. Now, so once you have charge and you have positive and negative stuff together, then you create that static charge. Okay, so now it's time to explore. In our first activity, we're going to try out a balloon picking up pieces of foil paper. So we're going to go ahead and blow up your balloon and remember to have your goggles on. And we're just gonna take some foil just little small pieces. And um, you will need something to charge your balloon with. Remember, charge means to rub one against the other. So we're making friction. I'm going to use a paper towel. You can use a cloth or something else that you have. And I'm just going to rub it real well. And we want to see if we can pick up any of the foil pieces. Look at that. Isn't that exciting? So the areas where I charged, you can see where it picked up the tiny pieces of foil. That is because opposite attracts. So we have positive and negative <laughs> that have attract together. For this next part, you're going to need your ruler, two pieces of string, and two balloons. You want to tie your string onto the ruler and then tie your balloons. And you want to make them, you know, as even as possible. Then spread them apart. We're going to charge one of the balloons and see what will happen. 
right, let's see. So I kind of want you to just have a better look to see how I put the string on. And I'm going to sit this down and charge one of the balloons. Okay, let's see if they attract or if they repel. It seems as though it want to attract. Let's charge the yellow one and see. And make sure you have them a good distance. So I'm just kind of off here a little bit. All right, as you notice, they kissed, so they attracted to one another. Right, so we have an attraction here. So if we have an attraction, think about this and answer, what type of charges do we have? What made them attract? Positive, negative, positive and positive together, or positive and negative together? Discuss that with your classmate, your brother or sister, or your parent. Let's charge the balloon again, and let's see if we can get the balloons to repel. That means pull apart from each other. I'm going to use something a little bit different. And they kind of want to stick to my arm and everywhere else because I've been charging them. Let me take, ooh, I can feel the static in my arm. Let's see. Yes, they're repelling, pulling apart. Look at the red one. The red one wants to pull apart. The yellow one wants to come in, but they are repelling. And if you put that, I kind of put something in the middle there. Depends on what you put and you can see them repelling, pulling apart now. The third activity, we're going to charge our balloon and we're going to see if we can attract salt to it. That was at the beginning of the uh, video. So we're just gonna charge the balloon. So wherever you charge it is where it's going to pick it up. Let's put that off of there. Let's charge it again. I'm going to use my blue cloth again. Something different. See if it makes a difference. Yeah. Still charged it. And you can hear how it picks up the salt. And you can see that. So this is another activity you can try and think about it. Which charges are involved? Positive and positive. Positive and negative. In this last activity, you're going to make a charge detector. You're going to need your cup, some foil paper, paper clip, um, and your cardstock or your cardboard. All right, you want to first make your lid for your cup. It needs to be wider than the cup itself or fit right over it, but if it's wider, it's better. Then you want to take your paper clip and unbend it and shape it so that you have this bottom part here where you can put on 
some pieces. You want to cut out two small pieces of foil paper. Little circles or little squares, however you want to do those. And when you put them on the paper clip, you kind of need to spread them apart if you can. Okay. All right. Then you want to take a big piece of the foil, ball it up, and put it through the paper clip. So it sits on top. This is our charge detector. Now, what does a charge detector do? If I have something charged and it's charged uh, positive, then those two little pieces at the bottom will separate or they will come together if it's charged positive, negative. So let's test it out. We're gonna charge our balloon. Let's see, I'm gonna to try to hold this up so you can see the pieces at the bottom. Let's see what occurs. Oh, can you see it? They repel, they separate. Let's look at this plastic tube and see what will occur. Open, close. So a charge detector works. Pretty neat. Now if you spread those little pieces apart better, you can see if they <coughs> attract also. Let me know in the comments if you make this and how does yours turn out. Um, you can um, use, like I said, a taller jar and make sure your lid is much wider. Uh, I think that will make a big difference also. Static electricity is used in everyday life. It is used in printers and photocopiers. The static electric charge attracts the ink or toner to the paper that it's being printed on. If you want to learn more about static electricity, then I would like for you to do some research. Find out who is the scientist behind static electricity and what are some other real life applications that static electricity is used in. If you do this, then leave me a comment below so that I can read what you have learned. In this video, I'm doing a giveaway. I'm giving an energy ball. An energy ball is used to show how circuits, simple circuits work. If you saw my video on the unboxing, I demonstrated or showed you this energy ball. So someone will be lucky enough to win this. You can use this at home with your children or you can use it in the classroom with your students. The energy ball, you can take one finger and put on this side and then put one on the other side and you have a complete circuit. But you can do so many tests with this, holding hands and then two people put a finger on each one, seeing if uh, something is an insulator or a conductor, which we're going to talk about in our next video. So if you would like to win this, all you have to do is leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel and like this video and your name will be put in. Uh, for the drawing of this energy ball. This giveaway will end June 12th and the winner will be announced June 13th in my next video. I'm so glad you explored static electricity with me today and I hope you enjoyed and I hope you test out some other things that you can see uh, static electricity in. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope you will subscribe, comment, and like this video. Have a wonderful and blessed day.